to Chile. This is an amazing group of people who know how to rally, which means we will have an amazing four days. It is always a pleasure to have such distinguished U.S. visitors come to learn more about the U.S.-Chile relationship, particularly this year as we celebrate 200 years of official diplomatic relations. The commercial ties, the cultural ties, the educational ties, the list is endless. And so to have these distinguished guests here to explore and understand more about the work that we do together is an honor and a pleasure. Congratulations and welcome to Santiago, Chile. Being able to come across them, we find that we have a lot of things in common. And then you start to network and figure out how to, you know, grow yourself as an artist or a creative and then help them out as well. And you're doing it in a place where everyone's really just exploring. And there's so much to learn out here. I'll start by saying Chile has my heart. And what I've loved most um, about this delegation, this opportunity to be here, is how vibrant the group is, how fast paced everything is, um, and the energy that comes with learning about art and culture and trade and connectivity in the Americas. I think the summit and the biennial's work is so important because it connects us, North and South America, to each other and to the work that we do. And our partnerships, our collaborations, our business, the work that we do together, and how we pass that on to the people that are in our circle and who we impact is extremely important. It was a wonderful experience connecting with my partner mayors, but also some of the business leaders and our state leaders and a group from the new administration in Denver. So to have a meal, share a cup of coffee, share a glass of wine, and really have great conversations about how we can make a stronger Colorado, a stronger Denver, a stronger partnership with Latin America has been wonderful. Creo que también esa desigualdad se puede ver de forma muy latente en cómo se distribuye el espacio físico de la ciudad. Um, I've been here for a day and a half. I've learned a ton um, in you know, how they take care of their citizens in terms of housing, which is, a, 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 I think, a hot topic issue in Colorado. I think we could learn from some of that, um, you know, the, the, the public-private partnerships on building infrastructure um, and how much they rely on the private sector to do that, uh, I think, was really eye-opening for me. This trip to Santiago has been super enlightening on how people live here in the region. Also what's going on within arts, culture, uh, green spaces, education, and more. I love these delegation trips because you get to learn more about the community as a whole as opposed to really where you're focused in on in your own community. So learning about how the Chileans and Colorado really can work together and how similar we are and what we can also learn from each other is very exciting and very inspiring temas de sustentabilidad y cómo podemos tener una buena conjugación entre negocios y sustentabilidad es algo muy importante, sobre todo para nosotros que hacemos logística, donde hay muchísimas iniciativas a nivel gobierno, a nivel iniciativa privada para poder tener un comercio sustentable. I think what is so startling is the same issues that we face in Colorado they're facing today and they're trying to work hard, whether it's water, whether it's sustainability, whether it's agriculture, whether it's um, arts and culture and how do they continue supporting that. Those are all very common issues that we have and it's what we walk away from every single one of these summits is we always have more in common than less in common that we can actually sit down and work together. We're very excited about an ability bring some of the business enterprises that are actually uh, starting up here in Chile to Colorado because I think they could help us solve some of our issues and our problems.